Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about translation change. I'm trying to get you to understand and kind of translate in a way what you think and feel about gear, transfer that kind of energy and momentum into the room, thinking about the room. Because you really need to give both strong consideration. We give a lot of consideration to our gear, specifications, amplifiers, damping factors, total harmonic distortion. We give it all kinds of issues. We look at all kinds of variables, but not in our rooms. So we have to change that kind of way of thinking, okay? Translation in a mix, you must hear everything. The reason for that is so you can decide what stays and what goes. What are you going to add? What are you going to subtract? I mean, really, you mix engineers, you're, you're painting pictures with different uh, tools, electronic tools. Resolution's got to be good. Noise has to be low. It's got all kinds of criteria. Well, we have the same kind of issues in our room, and we got to give them just as much credence, okay? Speakers, amp, DAC, cables, all must work together. What about the room? How about the room working with all of this? I've been doing this a long time. It's changed over the years, my perception of the impact of gear versus room. And right now I'm at 60 room and 40 gear. I think I started at 50-50. But the more I work in rooms and the more impact I see both negative, mostly negative, because it seems like all input into a room, it's air. You can't win. You're minimizing air rates all the time. So it's that uphill climb constantly that you have to do. What do we have? Pressure modes, reflections. Manifest, pressure manifests itself in modes, reflections manifest itself in reverb times. Modes exaggerate, make it sound bigger than it is. Dips attenuate, completely eliminate your ability to hear certain octave bands. Now, if that ain't power, I don't know what is. That's really big room power. Yeah, I'm going to decide not to let you hear this part of that song. Okay. Well, that should tell you the level of importance we need to elevate the room to. Reverb, it destroys mids and highs. You can't EQ your way out of 12 dB peaks and dips. You can try. Can EQ it to your blue in the face or blow up your EQ. It's not going to work. Management, rate and level of absorption. We got to absorb this excess energy in the room because it's the excess energy that's doing this. This is contributing to this. They're all related. They're all one big family. So you have to look at everything. Just like our speakers, amp, DAC, cables all work together. We build our systems over time. Same thing with your room. You have to do the same thing. You have to give it that kind of care and consideration because it's a big part of what you hear. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.